uh, where a water boil advisory remains in effect, meaning you will need to continue boiling your water before using it. Your Julius Evans is live from the Augusta Municipal Building with updates on restoring water and power in the city. Julius. Yeah, yeah, Courtney, I'm here outside the Augusta Municipal uh, Building and uh, still no firm timeline of when um, when power is going to be back restored and the, um, the water boil advisory being lifted. But um, city leaders are hopeful moving forward, and that's because of uh, continued progress with, uh, with regaining pressure to people's water, of course, making sure that it's safe to drink with the, with the ongoing monitoring and ultimately bringing more alignment to the area. Day five of the aftermath of Hurricane Helene, and people are still making the most of what they can as water continues to be a critical concern for Augusta residents, like Joshua Lambert, who says he's constantly worried about water safety. Um, it's a lot because, you know, there's people out here that got little kids, you know, and um, we don't know what's in the water system if it's not purified. The city of Augusta's website is tracking hundreds of streets still under the water boil advisory. City leaders are expecting that to change over the next two days, but in the meantime, resources are available. There's somewhere between 18 and 20 tankers that are strategically throughout the city um, at six locations, seven locations now. And as, if we have to grow those locations, we certainly can. People are, are coming, so it tells me that people are finding drinking water and water to cook with and all of those things. So that's uh, refreshing thing to know. And by tomorrow, 8,000 more linemen are expected to assist in restoring power as the city and the community come together, making sure Augusta residents have what they need. You know, the collaborative effort that you see out here is, you know, the marshals, the sheriff's office. We got the army out here. We got volunteers. Uh, the fire department has been incredible. Uh, so it's just been a collaborative effort from all the public safety. Lambert says he's thankful for Augusta's response to the devastation, but he hopes the city learns what to do in emergencies like this moving forward. They need to upgrade a little bit of everything and advice to the city or the government, whoever's running the whole show, stop putting these things underground. The power lines are the ground. You know, we won't have this issue. The city says, although there is still no firm timeline on power restoration and lifting the advisory, um, they're still hopeful and uh, they're saying that they're going to uh, keep pumping resources like distributing water, like distributing um, ice um, to people in need, like they've been doing for the past four days and will continue to do as long as there is a need for it. Mayor Johnson says that um, conservatively, they're still hoping within the next 48 hours to get that water back to um, back to a state of us. Uh, safely drinking. All right. Thanks so much, uh, Julius. In the meantime, we will continue to abide by that advisory. We thank you for your report tonight. You